Hey guys, Ron and A for Function Build Aquatics. What's up? Now I made some changes to our fluidized filter and I actually took out the sand. Um, the problem that I found with the sand inside the bucket was uh, once you put the hose into the sand, the water pump really had a difficult time pumping water down into it if some of the sand uh, got into the holes right there. So I decided to go with what I consider to be, or what I've been told by many, to be the all-time favorite media for fluidized filter, and that's the K1 Mini, or K1 Micro. I picked up three gallons of the K1 Micro. I don't believe I'm gonna use all three gallons in this bucket, but we're gonna see. I also made a few new changes to the way I deliver the water to the system. I added the T-valve like we discussed in prior videos, and as you can tell, I'm trying to angle the water in a, in a position that it'll actually get upward flow to start spinning the K1. The K1 has a tendency to uh, float. Once it gets its biological coating, it'll float a lot less, but still float none, none to less. Now these are kind of like little gears. Yeah, they're like little wheels, little gear, little, like little wagon wheels, right dude? Yeah, they're like little pasta wagon wheels. You know, yeah. You know those? So, I haven't been in much videos lately because of school, but I really wanted to be in this video, so, I, so and we just got them today. So, why don't you do this? Why don't you pour the, the first bag and let's see how much space the first bag takes up. Okay. Let's not lose them. They're rather expensive little pieces of plastic. Okay. No. Now, there are no fish in this system, so I'm not too worried about actually rinsing them off. I'm just going to pour the K1 in. I'm going to do a big water change on this, on this, uh, um, rack system that we have going on <clears throat> before we put the tetras on. We're still cycling the tank. Yeah. The cherry farms. You know how they... So that's the one farm. gallon right there. Right? So that's one gallon. Oh, I also put this little screen here with the so none window goes. or door, uh, door mesh. So none, same, so none can really go in there. Yeah, same pretty much... Uh, same type of screen that you would have on your uh, screen door. Um, <clears throat> so I think we maybe add another half a bag and then we're gonna let this mature. Now plastic media takes a lot longer to mature than, than let's say sand or uh, center glass type material. So I expect this to slowly, slowly, slowly become bioactive and actually do its job. It'll probably take somewhere between, uh, probably anywhere from a month to maybe three months to be really, really kicking in. But, you know, I kind of have overkill on this setup. You know, we have the wet dry that's been cycling now for almost a week. Um, we've been doing our water changes every other day and I've been adding my, my, my uh, fresh biological additive. But hopefully in time this will kick in and will help also reduce the uh, nitrates even further. Now here's a warning for this. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, or play pens. This bag is not a toy. Oh, that's a nice disclaimer. We do have a two-year-old living in this house with us. Nathan is not the only child I have. I have a little two-year-old daughter also, Emma. Emma will eventually pop up on some of our videos. That's my little queen. But, like I said, I'm going to add another half a bag of the um, K1 Micro, and we will fire it up and see how it uh, spins. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, we're back. What's up? I think we nailed it. The K1 Micro is moving around in the bucket the way I intended. The sand was just way too heavy for this water pump to pump actually down into the depth of the sand and push it upward. But the K1 Mini, because it's so light, and wants to naturally float is doing exactly what a fluidized filter is supposed to do. Now the process with a fluidized filter involves the actual bacteria colonizing the, the K1 product or the biological filter media you put inside the bucket or cylinder. What happens is, is the uh, older and less strong bacteria gets knocked off as the, as the product, as the biological product actually bangs into one another. The bacteria is able to colonize the center portions of the media, but not stay on the exterior as it, as it knocks around inside the filter. 
in time, the stronger bacteria will colonize the exterior portion of the media, and you, what you'll end up, what your end result would be, is a strong biological media 